we don't build models, we build ships. And the complexity and the problem now is making sure that the CFD can represent the complexity of real life. I'm Scott Terry, I'm the team lead for the Hydro Mechanics team. Um, what our aim is in the team is to bring academic research into the company with an aim of uh, a five to ten year absorption rate. At Darman, we uh, have been doing bear hole resistance simulations for a long time now, and while that's still our bread and butter, we see a lot more complicated simulations being undertaken uh, in waves or during maneuvers. Five, ten years ago, this was only research topics. Uh, it was not commercially viable, but now we have customers coming to us because they know us and asking for this particular work. And so for Darman, it's always about validating the results. Uh, previously, we had spent a lot of time validating the model tests because there we can capture the physics. And now we know for certain that the physics are perfect. Every year we're making more and more CPU hours, uh, more and more predictions. And this trend is only going to continue and it's seen as a big success story within Darman. When we first started doing CFD, we were really only doing it in the late stage of the design, uh, coupled with model tests. However, now, with the uh, ability that we have, we are using it more and more in many different times throughout the design stage. One of our challenges is with all this data, we want to make sure that it talks to each other. And from there, we want to make sure that we can uh, build and build and build. Diamond has built its own automation infrastructure, but this is starting to get out of date. And we see that Cadence has their own way of doing it, very appealing to us. We find the support from Cadence very good. Uh, one of the things that we have is a cloud solution, and we actually have five offices around the world uh, using this. And the support from Cadence with the five locations is very good. For Darman, the next thing is really validating to full-scale trials. Uh, they have a lot of variability on them, and we know that the CFD is good, but the extra models that Cadence provides with roughness and wave making allows us to get closer and closer to real life. Thank you.